Here is the uh, Inmar Sat reception equipment. It's uh, the FunCube dongle SDR. Uh, you can see here the uh, 1200 baud PSK signal. You can see here actually the signal to noise ratio. It's uh, around uh, 20 to 25 decibel over the noise level. You can see it here, the horizontal lines, it's 10 dB separation. So um, around about 20 to uh, 25, that's the PSK signal. And uh, this is the um, reception setup over here. There's a BIAS T, uh, which I currently run with a small power supply, a professional BIAS T to uh, feed the uh, voltage to the preamp and then followed just by a FunCube dongle and then going uh, over the USB cable into the computer and that's it works pretty well uh, we can also have a look to other frequencies here uh, for example we can uh, go to some of the other Inmarsat channels there is uh, for example, there are three uh, in Marsat, no, four in Marsat C channels here, around uh, 1.539 uh, gigahertz, and a few more here. There's another one here, uh, 200 kilohertz lower. There are other data signals here. We have also some uh, wideband uh, data signals or uh, yeah, some narrow band like here. This is Inmarsat D. This is a paging signal from Inmarsat D. We can also have a look to GPS, which is somewhere here on 1575. This is how GPS satellites look like. It's of course a wideband signal, so there's nothing you can do with this uh, other than just uh, looking at it. So that's about it. Let's go back to... Ah, okay, this is some uh, Inmarsat signal as well. Some uh, very strong carriers. Uh, but the uh, standard C signal is down here. So here we are back on, uh, on Inmarsat C on the network control channel.